Well, good morning, friends. This is uh, my YouTube. I'm Katie Jean Hughes. I am a celebrity and editorial makeup artist based in New York City. And now I am the founder of KJH Brand, a brand that launched almost a week ago. And I'm just going to fix my white balance on my phone because it's a little bit overexposed. Let's do that. There we go. So I am coming back to YouTube for the first time in a couple of weeks. I've had... Oh, a full on two months to say the least. I had my parents in town for three weeks, which was amazing. I then had a brand launch. I then had just a bunch of work. I then had to go to, um, I then got to go to London. You just have to flip how things are in your head. And like, I got to go. Makes it sound like it was a chore, which work sometimes is, but it's also a, uh, it's also a privilege. And uh, I got to go to London for work. Um, with Glossier for some Sephora UK activation. And then I came back and launched my brand. All the while, um, undertaking some IVF stuff. Um, so this video is gonna be just like a little get ready with me and a little chat, a little update um, on life and things. And so we launched KGH Brand on Tuesday of last week. Um, we had amazing, amazing success so far and the reviews are coming in and the videos and the photos are coming in and I, I'm just so, so excited to see everyone's um, looks using the product. Um, and today I go for my second IVF checkup of the week. Uh, I started a fertility treatment, um, well, started my fertility journey about two and a half years ago. Um, always with the mindset that if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It's like we'll try and exhaust all of the options. Um, within our means and um, this is a sample of an eyebrow gel that I want to produce for KJH brand um, and uh, meaning it's a lab sample so it's not a product that you can buy yet it's just a lab gave it to me and was like this is some innovation that we have um, anyway so we sort of started this journey about two years ago two IVF um, two egg retrievals and one transfer failed transfer round later which is okay I've always said to people, like, I don't want apologies if I tell you that something didn't work out. Because to me, it's when people sort of, I don't know, maybe it's me protecting myself in a way. But, like, I feel like even when my doctor was, like, getting ready to call me with the news of if the transfer worked or if the transfer didn't work. I was like, oh, please don't say sorry if it didn't. Like, I don't want that sort of emotional connection to it just yet. Uh, because it's not, you know, it's not real until you're, like, you know... At, so far in anyway I feel like at least that's kind of how I feel about it um and you know I feel like you have to just be so realistic about so many things and not sort of getting too connected to stuff helps me sort of stay strong about things I guess but anyway enough on that um today after IVF treatment I'm gonna check, it's called morning monitoring I'm going for like an ultrasound and a blood test where they check the sort of growth of your ovaries, uh, check the growth of your eggs, they're called follicles technically, um, to the doctors. And then we, um, and then I'm going to Sephora, I think. So Sephora, I'm all over the place this morning. I got my buttons off yesterday, so I no longer have these little attachments on my teeth. So Sephora is an event that's happening in New York right now that unfortunately yesterday got canceled because of the weather. Um, we had torrential, torrential, torrential rain. What do I want to put on my face? Um, we had torrential, torrential, torrential rain yesterday. I know what I want to put on my face. We had torrential, torrential, torrential rain that basically flooded many neighborhoods to the point where like cars were almost submerged. I'm going to use the resurfacing compound from New Beauty because I feel a little bit puffy. The reason why I did this after my skincare is because, uh, after my eyebrows, is because for me, my eyebrows sometimes go on funny after skincare. And skincare can inhibit how your makeup looks and how your makeup wears. Um, so that is my advice to you. If things are moving and slipping and sliding, you need to assess your skincare, cons possibly. Mm. <clears throat> why is this not going in? So um, Sephora got cancelled because of the weather um, and I'm supposed to be working it today with Lauren Ireland from Summer Fridays and so we will see if that happens. All right, I'm going to use number three light from CL Tint and Protect. Um, 
so yeah it is weird to be a brand founder it is hard work it is an expensive industry to be in i um i'm so sort of in awe of all of my brand founder friends not because i didn't think it would be difficult but i just didn't know uh how i just didn't know some things and that's good because you learn and, you know cut it to the ears to start taking my earrings out um before i put makeup on my ears but anyway um but yeah, it's been great. The reviews and the responses so far, privately or public, have been so, so, so great. Um, and not really much to sort of say has gone wrong, which is really, really lucky. And, you know, there's there's always things... What's my tail? There's always things in small business and in beauty that sort of can go wrong. And you obviously is just in life things don't always go off the way that you plan so I'm very very grateful that 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 is the way that it is I'm gonna use Mario's concealer in the shade 180 I love this concealer so much I cannot stop using it it's quite um full coverage so I just sort of smear it in places that the first product that I put down isn't which is this or sorry where I'm where I'm trying to, obviously the first part of the put down went everywhere. Um, I'm trying to sort of use this in areas where I want a little bit more full coverage or a little higher contrast in the complexion. Um, I don't know whether it's because I've been burning the candle at both ends, which I'm going to try and take an easy weekend, but I feel so tired and swollen all the time. It could also be the IVF meds. I started Menopure last night, which is the main IVF medicine. I'm on menopure gonal and I'll be starting cetratide on Tuesday. I think cetratide is the one that stings. Um, menopure, when you apply it, it gives you like, you feel it going into the skin and it doesn't hurt. It's just a strange sensation, like a little uncomfortable, but not painful. I think cetratide, if I remember correctly from the last time, does actually gave me a tiny, tiny, tiny rash at the in injection site, which you just sort of ice and then it goes away. It's a uh, little fun and games and making babies but um i i will put a trigger warning at the beginning of this video in the caption just so that it's in case anybody doesn't want to hear about ivf stuff i know that it's not um a topic that everybody wants to listen to okay oh i'm so puffy wow i should have probably done a little bit of ice on my face okay um I don't do my makeup with a theory, with a, with a concept in mind of what the end goal is. I have a concept of what products I might want to use, but I'm just sort of grabbing things as I see them, knowing that I want to use it. This is the Rosewood Pencil from Jones Road. I'm actually going to use it as a full lip colour. I love it. I used it yesterday. It's like a perfect sort of, like, almost grown-up rust. Target snoring upstairs. And so I'm just using this to create a shape. And then I'll sort of segue. So I'm just getting it on. It's not perfect yet, but it will be. And then I'm going to apply some blush because I feel a little bit flat in complexion. So obviously I've got a full face on. So I'm going to use a little... I'm going to do a little bit of the CL Elodie um, first, which is like a peachy... I think this brand is so, so genius. Nikki de Roost has created the brand that encompasses SPF inside of the formula. And the products are gorgeous, so don't sleep on it. All right, so I'm putting that on, going quite close to the eye. I think it's really beautiful when blush goes really close to the eye. It's like already so much better with blush. Um, and then just add a little and apply some more if you feel like you need it. So if anybody watching this has already tried KJH brand, I wanna know what you think. Tell me in the comments below so we can all read it together. Um, I used it yesterday. I used the gold yesterday. 
with a bright pink blush, which I might do today. And it gave me this really beautiful peachy kind of highlighter. Um, and it was very exciting to see that like that's what it can do. And sort of to learn all of the different ways in which you can use the product um, to create my eyes look red today. All the different ways in which to use um, the highlighter. I'm gonna take a pop of a bright pink um, in the center for a little contrast. Um, that was, so the first shade was LED and this is Giselle. Um, my IVF doctor has given me this supplement regime, one of which, which is melatonin. I didn't take it last night because I took it the night before and it made me so groggy the next day, I think. Is that what melatonin does? Does it make you feel a little bit like nuts the next day? Felt just like really like, ugh, all day. I'm just like a little heady. My head felt a bit weird, but it also could be the weather. I think the weather can mess with you like that. The weather. It's what a weather. All right, next up. Now I know what I need. So through the process of application, I start to realize what it is that I'm missing in my look. Now I know that I want some bronzer. So I'm going to use, I'm going to use a big brush. This is the Jones Road uh, blush brush. I'm going to use the Rose Ink Seychelles. People often do, I mean, like, you wear that shade, it looks really dark on the website. But look at it on my face. It's applying so sheerly and not in an intense way. And so I would just say to you all, if you're afraid, if you if you want something to go further for you, for me, I like to go a little warmer with my bronzer, as long as it's not too orange. I don't mind going a bit darker with my bronzer because if I use less of it, then it suits me for all year round when I'm a little bit more warm. And it lasts me a lot longer because I need to use less. Um, this this rule does not apply typically for foundation, only for um, only for things like you know enhancers. But like, it's not it's not wrong. So, and then what I'm going to do just to have a little bit more sort of precision out of that, I'm going to take the brush that it comes with or that you can buy with it, the number four brush, and just pinpoint. A little bit more sort of sculpting. This is where it gets actually heavier, is when you start applying a little brush like this. Because that little brush applies it more. Dense brushes will apply product heavier. Um, if that makes any sense. So I hope Sephora goes off without a without a hitch today. It would be that would be great. Blending it with a big brush. And then obviously because I've gone in with a big brush with a bronzer on it, this brush is actually now my secret weapon because I can take this brush, which has a little bit of that first complexion product in it, which is this color, and I can sort of cut with it and like sort of shape up with it and redefine in a bright sense any areas that got a little bit, you know, contaminated from other areas, you see? All right, I'm gonna use the CL powder next. This is CL powder number one. Not sure I'm gonna do any eyes just yet. I'm gonna keep it simple, go to my doctor appointment, come back, touch up, go to work. I'm gonna use um, the CL powder with my number three brush, five brush from KGH and Spectrum. I'm gonna just tap it on quite generously because I want my makeup to last all day. A lot. That was a lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> Do you see how beautiful this powder is though? Like, I love that it's like stage, there's a stagey element to it, but it still looks like skin. I, I don't want that to scare you. I, I want it to sort of make you realize that like, it is a good quality powder. I'm gonna curl my eyelashes with the Shiseido eyelash curler. Huh? Yeah? Okay, look. Wake me up when it's all over. When I'm riser and I'm older. So that was how to not curl your eyelashes. The proper way to curl your eyelashes is actually to Curl at the root and then bend the tool bend the tool back and lift up as you go because the, the, the problem with bending once at the root is, even though it's easier, 
is that you um, will just get like a hard bend in the eye, which might be okay with you. Um, but um, it's just a nice way to make it look more natural. I'm gonna do a touch of it and let's get cow in the mix here. Just for contrast. Mm, I love this look. This look makes me happy. Um, and then I'm gonna just take my can see it, my blush brush that had the blush in it. Not pick up any more product. I'm just going in with what little bit of pigment is left in there from before. And just tap up, tapping that little dried pigment. Because at the end of the day, the pigments in here probably started as powders. Pigments in anything possibly start as powders. I actually don't know that about if that's fact, but I'm assuming so. Um, and I need to take my Hypershine Highlight Kits out of my product development section of my drawers because they're no longer product development products. So this had serum in it when I used it yesterday. So I'm not actually going to take more serum. I'm just going to use it directly um, with the brush. And I'm using the pointiest part of the brush now. Uh, as opposed to the, so if I was going for like maximum coverage, I would use that part of the brush. If I was going for pinpoint coverage, I would use that part of the brush. So by using this part of the brush, you actually get a much more precise application. Do you see? Um, and you would use the serum when you want to shear it down, when you want to add more shine, um, and so on and so forth. I'm going to keep it real simple. I'm going to bring it on the high point of the cheek and then down. So that it's like visible, not just from the side of my head when I turn. And this is Light Pink Hyper Shine Highlight Kit by KGH Brand. So yesterday, people kept sending me um, photos, videos from the news in New York City of crazy flooded tech areas, um, and KGH brand posters were in the background. It's like not a not a claim, not a good claim to fame for the posters. It's like it's so sad. I hope everybody was okay. Um, so I have an eyelash on my face taking a brush and just picking it up because I don't want my fingers to sort of break up the oils in my face or to sort of touch the makeup too much. All right, a little down the bridge of the nose and there's a hair on my brush and then a little, watch this. to go um i need to use the bathroom before i go to the doctors and i have to shower and i have to well i showered last night before i went to bed but i have to do other things um i'm gonna put on a tiny tiny bit of mascara just so that at least the look feels complete ish but i am going to tweak it a little bit when i get back so um thank you for watching this video just a little and thank you for um, following if you already do. And if you don't, feel free to tap that subscribe button if you enjoyed this slightly um, all over the place piece of content. Um, and I will see you in another video. Love you all. Bye.